What's up, everybody? How you doing, man? How you doing? Oh, oh, songs for you, John. Listen, listen to this shit, bro. Listen, to, this is for you and for a showdown, John. What's that? I heard a whisper. I've got this. I've got this. Sort of. Are you afraid? Not afraid. No one knows. If you're just tuning in and you're like you haven't been following the show, I'm going to catch you up right now. John Matthews has gone into the, the Thunderdome twice of rap battles. In the name of Eminem, Paul Rosenberg, Stop, Def Jam, Stop, J45, All Out Show, repping everybody. Now going rogue. He's taking a win and he's taking an L. And now we're doing the last hurrah. You versus Jason Ellis's producer Andrew of Rit. John, you are literally just leaning all the way down in your seat. You're. You're crouched over. Body language is saying, telling me that you are fucking scared, but I want you to be brave, John. I should have called in one of these rad people that we know through the show, had them help me out a little bit, but I guess that would have been cheating. I thought about Nobody it. Nobody would have known. I thought about it. You cheated on the fucking, who who should be in the office, Jude or John? I did not cheat. You fucking cheated. I, I know cheat. you cheated. I, I out, know you I cheated. I out-cheated you. I out-cheated you. You really you're cheated. Gonna, yeah. You're going to cheat me? I'll cheat you. You stuffed the box big time. I didn't stuff the box. I just didn't read. I just read them wrong. I just literally read them wrong because fuck you for cheating. I didn't cheat. Yeah. I did a little campaigning. They swayed the vote. Looking into their hearts. You wasn't even supposed to be asking the question. You're a fucking cheater and then this is the one time where you could have like called up a rapper and like got some help and you didn't. I like, asked for a little guidance from, There's little, from somebody the, we know. Oh, Andrew's coming in here right now. Uh, the two fucking, the two guys face each other. They're talking. They seem pretty civil. He's wearing a fucking purple shirt. Barney, something like that. I'm just giving you some ideas. Shit. God damn it, you're, you're fucking up my whole game here. No, I'm not fucking up your game. I'm just saying I'm helping you. Or not. It doesn't have to rhyme with Barney. It just has to be in the line. Right. He's got a whole world of hurt coming his way. Don't worry about it. When is that going to be? In a half hour? No, more like... Uh, 15 minutes? 15, 20. 15 fucking... 15, 20 minutes. Uh-huh. John, you're a cheater, just so you know. You're a cheater, you're a liar, and you're a fucking... And you're passive-aggressive. I reject all those, and I could back it up. I was waiting for you to back it up. You're not gonna, yeah. Cause well, you're, you're just saying you're a lying things, ass cheat. You're saying these things are true as though they're just fact. I mean, the, if we went case by case, you yes, I could mount a defense. You, you yes me to death, and then just do the opposite. That's passive aggressive. And that's your point of view. Oh, that is huh. the way you view the world. See how crazy he is. That's what I live with. You're trying to, you're trying to gaslight me. You're not gonna fucking gaslight me. You fucking cheating ass, passive aggressive motherfucker. I didn't cheat. There was no cheating. There was an honest vote. No, it wasn't. I don't know why we're going to bicker about this, but I'm just going to say that... Turn off his mic so so we cannot bicker. Fuck you, your mic's off. When we discussed the fucking who's better for the office, we said have Keenan go around and fucking get the votes. That did not happen. Therefore, it wasn't a proper goddamn... It wasn't a proper vote. You fucking banana face fuck. You moon face sh- motherfucker. Your face looks like Islam. Crescent moon ass motherfucker. Yeah, that's right. Don't say shit back. You want to cheat? I'll out cheat you. I got the fucking. If you want to cheat? I, I'm counting them. So there you go. I'd have been cool. It actually would have been funny if I was l- l- less like than you. I probably am, but we'll never know because you cheated. I'm still rooting for you on this rap battle, John. Just know that I want you to win, and I want you to fucking. I want you to Tupac. I want you to pock these motherfuckers. I'm gonna play hit them up for you right now. Here, turn on the mic, John. You there? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna play this for you. Ready? Not really. Listen to this. Listen to this shit. Listen to this. I want you to get in the mood. All right? Listen to, Listen how he comes at him. Listen how he gets at him. He already, he already went after everybody. He ain't even talking to Biggie now. You hear that shit, John? Why are you silent, bro? Why are you so, so quiet? Fast. Well, the problem, I mean, when I was listening to shit like this, it's so fast. It's hard. I told you, I wrote that diss rap after that guy fucked my girl like a bitch. Are you going to do some shit talking like, you know what time it is. Are you going to do that shit? That would be ill, like if in the middle of the fucking verse, like, you motherfuckers know what's up, and then you fucking just start talking shit. Where were you last night? Yeah, I'll make a note of that. That's a good one. I got a little check mark for Yeah, that. just say, you know what time it is, and then what would you say? Like, give me a for instance. You know what time it is? <laughs> I had to think, you know what time it is. All right, but you can't just say you know what time it is and then just be real quiet. You need to say some shit after that. All right, go ahead. You know what time it is. Uh, going for your ass. See, I'm, I don't know. I This whole German thing I had to cut because the thing was just so homoerotic. And I was just like, no, 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 no. I just hold, what, wait, what was the German thing you had to some, cut? like German sausage in his anus. And I was like, no, 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 no. What am I doing? This is fucking disgusting. All right, all right, here, look. I'll give you another one to listen to. This is fucking classic right here. All right. 
you listen to this? Feeling it, John? Is it in your bones? I got it. All right. I'm getting psyched up. Are you psyched up? You know what time it is. What time is it? Disco time. I don't know. I don't know. Disco time. I don't know. Disco time. I don't know. I'm looking at you, John. You're not looking at nobody. You're just staring off in the distance. Well, I'm feeling it. What do you feel? Mild concern. Mild concern. No, when I go in there, I will bring my, my game face. Andrew's in big trouble. Give me one of your throwaway lines that you didn't even use. Kelly on the open mic, uh, the laughs avoid him like a cock to a dyke, or I don't know. <laughs> See, but everything it was just so it was so homophobic. I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> I don't even think you'd say that anymore. You're worried about being homophobic? <laughs> it's he, rap. He, Have you heard rap music? I can't say dyke. Can I? No, I don't think. You're so. such a bitch. I don't dude. know anymore. I, so I never lame. did. I, oh I, my I, I god! Got that one. How are you supposed to win in rap? <laughs> I've got. Some... How are you supposed to win in rap? You're playing like you're. You're playing like, you're playing like folk music rules, and this is rap, dog. Have you heard the rap songs that we play? Yeah. They're misogynistic and hom and homophobic. It's kind of it's kind of it's kind of their deal. You didn't notice that? I've got I've got uh, that sprinkled throughout. So slightly racist and very violent. Like that's kind of rap. And you're worried about saying dyke? I don't know. Who, who says that Fucking anymore? Fucking pussy. Who says dyke anymore? I don't know. Dykes do. Dykes on bikes. Or, or, or. <laughs> oh, man. Hang on. Put, look, look. Here's another one. All right, man. You ready? You fucking... Yeah. Sort of. Oh my god! No, I got it. I got it. When I go in there, it's right. different. I'm not going to let these guys destroy me. These guys are fucking animals. They stuffed the ballot box against me. No, they didn't. You had more votes than I did. I just lied because I don't trust you. Yeah, but I already know they. See this? Like I'm Mike Tyson and you're cannabis, and I'm hyping you up. When you come, you got to come for blood, John. Bust his hole. It's Jew talking to the big chin, big chin face, John. Man, eat, eat, eat him. They've been trying to play me all my motherfucking life, bro. Get in there. You're big. How you feel? Like, no one can even hear you nod, No, John. I understand that. I was still in a trance. It's a radio show. Yes. Yes, it's a radio I feel show. it. I was born to do this. Andrew is really in big trouble. All right, maybe the callers will give you a prep talk. They're going to give you a prep talk. That's, not, that's the last thing they're going to do. Danny Boy, go ahead, man. Well, John, bro, here's what you need to do, man. Uh, you know, you have all this pent up frustration and anger in you from getting called a fucking boot face and chin boy and getting punked on by little kids on the bus and shit. Take all that fucking anger and all that frustration, bro, and just unleash on that motherfucker, man. Yeah, all, Bring like, all the yeah, negative energy me. from your life and unleash that shit. Yeah. Your girlfriend, me, everyone that you hate deep down. <laughs> put it all, all out the callers who the callers who shit on you every fucking day because your your life is just just worthless. Just bring all that negative yeah, thanks, energy out of you, bro, and that's unleash what, right, on those dude. motherfuckers, yeah, bro. Unleash. You got this. Yeah, I'll you be fine. It. And by the way, I'm not some sort of a uh, little bitter man who uh, is sitting there. There you uh, go. There you go. That's, that's what right, you need right boy. there, bro. Bring right. that shit out of you. That's I got what you it. Need. You got this, bro. You fucking got it. I'm bringing it. The see the you, I'm bringing one. it. Yeah, it's true. You know what they used to do to me on Jenny Jones? They used to dress me up like the devil because so, uh, they knew that I fucking hated that shit. They knew I, I they knew I hated drip being because I'm, I got pink undertones. I can't wear red, but they would put me in a devil suit like a devil onesie, and I would just take all that. They knew that they knew it made me mad. I would just take out all that anger on the strippers, and just blaze them hoes. You need to have the mindset, John, of if you lose, you're gonna get fucking gang raped by ten mandingos. Mm. You can't lose, John. He might throw that shit. For say forty fucking five, man. He might throw that you got shit. Got it, bro. Got that shit, Kim. Yes, Go uh, ahead. I just wanted to say I think that John has been working at Shade Forty Five a little too long not to have at least eight bars in his pocket. I mean, at all times. What is the problem for real? No, there is no problem, but the idea that I go back to my desk and start sort of writing rhymes is just well, absurd. What you can do, John, Why the fuck would I do go that? Back to but I pre desk and what? look at John Chin's Instagram page. Just read off that stuff against the other person. 
they kill you on Instagram. So flip all the hate against me against nonsense. Andrew. All right. No, that's a valid point. That's not. Flip that's it, good material. There's a lot there. He looked like a big beige Frankenstein, bro. Like you can't. You like Andrew look. He a big, tall, beige, bald Frankenstein. Oh, he looks like an uncooked hot dog. All you gotta do is fucking blaze his ass. Rooting for you. We all are, all right, Kim. I right. appreciate that. <laughs> Right, we gotta play a song because we gotta we gotta we gotta shift over there. We've been hyping it up too long. We're gonna play. We're gonna play. You look shook, bro. You look. No, this is exactly what it was like last time. I know. And then you went in there and delivered, so I'm not worried. And then you went in there and then fucked me right out of the gate. Yeah. So I had to defend myself out of nowhere. That's when you did good. And then when I then when I got your back, you shit the bed. Isn't that weird? It's kind of odd, isn't it? The last one I shit the bed, that was, uh, there were extenuating circumstances. Yeah, he started talking a bunch of gay shit, bro. I don't know. Like, about, like, blowing him. I don't know. It's bizarre. It was like the OJ If I Did It book. You know what I mean? Like, where it's like, he's saying if you, like, you're like, here, we want to play that, play the rap. Play it for it. You got the rap that, here, like, do not do this. No. Here comes the chin. Yes, there is no spin. Yeah, I'm not rhyming very well. I'm in your face, putting you in your place. I'm not sucking your dick. I don't want to suck that dick. I'm not licking your balls. I'm not going down that cock. None of that stock. I don't know, man. Your ball. But I like it. It's okay. No, I actually don't like it. Oh, fuck no. that ball, dick. Suck that ball, dick. Oh. <laughs> what is happening? That's, that's so unhelpful, man. That's just don't do that. <laughs> okay. Just don't do that, and you'll be fine. All right, I, 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 we were doing fine, and then you played that. I, I got it. I got it. Well, you get it. We got written down. It's, I know. it's all written. Right. You didn't write anything like that, did you? Uh, I, there's some stuff. That okay. All right. Look, we're gonna play a song or two, and then come back, and it's gonna. We're, I'm gonna be. Uh, we'll be in Ellis's studio. You, you'll be in. We'll be in Ellis's studio. You'll hear other voices. That is because Jason Ellis' show and my show will be together. Ellis will be leaving, leading it as we are guests in his studio. And uh, and we're going to have their rap battle. Uh, I get, what are we going to do, flip a coin to see who goes first? Yeah, that'll work. All right. All right. All right. Uh, don't, don't go anywhere. John is, j- John is going for the fucking, you're going for the win. This is it. Let me hear your cum yell. Let me hear, let me hear your cum yell. Ah! That's what I'm talking about. There it is. There it is. Shea 45, y'all. You are checking out the All Out Show with Rude Jude on demand. Jude and John, welcome to the show. Yeah. Uh, welcome to the show, everybody. I don't on know. If we're, I don't even know if we're on yet. Uh, well, then maybe maybe fuck you guys. Then. We are. We are. Right, Wait, we're we are. on. Well, then right. I take that back. Welcome oh, to the show. Hey, Shea 45. <laughs> um, so he's he's telling me to tell everybody that listens to this show to call because he feels the only reason he lost the freestyle battle was because you told everybody on Shape 45 to call the show. And I don't agree to that. I, I think couldn't. that I think Andrew's a sore loser yeah. and a and a shit competitor. Yeah. Because no, he's he's throwing out excuses before the thing even starts. When 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 you won, I was literally rooting against John because he was going to have to wear a, a romper to work if he lost. It, right. And I thought that would have been funnier. Yes, I right. agree. That's fair. So, like, you won. And then when I had nothing on the line for John to do, if he lost, he won. So, like, I'm not I'm not swaying it. And it, when the people that called in, it was they all know your phone number. My people don't even know the number. Here. It seemed like a- Andrew was Good really point. affected by it. Excellent point, Jude. Of course, they spent a few minutes educating them on the phone number that we've been telling our listeners for 10 years. Okay. Okay. Yeah, do you think that maybe you just fair and square lost? I thought I did better in the first battle than Yeah, but it kept the going. Right. I understand it's 1-1. Man, you're really losing it ahead of time. I know, right? I'm really, yeah. You're right? like making people hate you ahead of time. I, see, that's what I was trying to say. I don't want you yeah. to win. You suck. And that's John's job. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> John was nervous. Like I feel like it was the same pep talk. Like I feel like we literally were having the like. I, oh, he's all bummed about it. I just try to have a pep talk with John. I played him a bunch of different fucking rap, like rap battle songs, like battle songs, and he just. No, I've got it. I've got it. You make it sound as though I'm weak. No, I'm here to kill. 
They are in fucking trouble. Everybody. Everybody's see, going see, down. See this bullshit that he's doing, Andrew? It's not like this, Jude or John? No. Both of them. No, no, one's like one can you obvious. give me one a pep talk? fact and one see that's the difference. I will know I will to know that you've been coaching him with all this these different I've songs. Been them, yeah. I have I've only told Andrew that he's terrible. That's the only coaching <laughs> I've, I've said I, I that you're both embarrassing. Uh, I can't wait up. to see how disgusting you both are. Should have built him uh, up. Yeah, you no, should have built no, him I up. No, I shouldn't. Because yeah. that's how Andrew works. I know how I know how to coach my guy. You okay. coach yours. Look, every time I'm supportive of him, he fucks and sh- he shits the bed. Yep, and then every happens. time I'm I, every time I want him to lose, he wins. So I feel like it's he's very passive aggressive. Well, I wouldn't know what it, what Andrew reacts to when he's supportive because I've never supported him. But <laughs> I'm just going to tell him he sucks and 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 listen to this freestyle because uh, uh, look, it's not about us; it's about the fans. So um, I was thinking we could flip a coin to see who goes first. I think that's totally fair. And then who, who, the winner gets to decide whether they, they want to go first or second. Yes, sure. Cool. We'll do this. That's, that's fine. We'll do have, this Super Bowl style. I have no money. Neither do I. Of course you don't have money, you broke I really fucking. No money. I don't even have a wallet. Oh, my God. I know there's a quarter yeah. in my car. <laughs> he got it. He got it. He got it. I got it. Wait, no, don't. You got any chance? No Hold up. All right, there we go. All right, Kev, you want to flip it? It, it, and let it land on the ground. Call, call, it, call it in the air. You're, you're calling it. You're the visitor here, yep. John. All right. Call it in the air, Do John. Do it. Heads. It is? It is tails. Hey! Tails. Right. I don't know why I care, but hey! Andrew, do you want to go first, or do you want... John to go first. What would you suggest? I think John should go first, right? Yeah, you got to do some. Jesus Christ. John, John go first. What is a... Oh, man. Oh, there you go. That nice and strong. How do you produce a show? You can't even produce a fucking answer. What? Where's the? Where's there his butt? Where's his song? Jason Ellis page, top right. Okay. All right. This, <clears throat> this is the, this is it. This is a rap battle. For, this is the rap battle to end I mean, the rap battle. I guess battles. this is it, right? Yeah, fuck. This is nerve wracking. It's like the thrill in Manila. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you ready, John? Do it. Catch the beat. God damn. Rapping again with this total schmuck. Makes sense though, since you're all talentless fucks. Finding material on the weasel wasn't quick. Your half a dozen listeners didn't offer me dick. Still, the little I found made me weave. Kind of like when you're bent over, Andrew, with some guys going balls deep. You've got this little girl bitch ass musical taste. Heard you're banging Taylor Swift like a fucking panty waist. You think being tall is some sort of prize? Only thing that's good is for nothing in Pendarvis's eyes. Why don't you take credit for that massive fart? Such a spineless bitch. Your integrity is cheaper than Walmart. A real man would have dropped his pants, spread his cheeks, filled the room until it fucking reeks. Oh yeah. Let's not forget about your basketball dream. It seems about as worthless as Kevin Kraft's self-esteem. <laughs> Read somewhere WNBA practice players never get paid. Probably didn't sting as much as never getting laid. See Andrew coming, you know it's a bad day. <laughs> no, hang on! <clears throat> Damn! The smell of failure in here is bringing me down. My underwear has got you beat even though it's kind of brown. <sighs> and since we're here, who's left in the room, time once again to lower the boom. So Tully's stand-up bits probably seem clever. Most of his set, though, has the crowd looking to slit their wrist. Ellis keeps... Shouting that he's the next Howard, yet even he must know he leaves satellite and he'll get devoured. But, <laughs> but back on the stammering pussy I'm here to destroy, what happened to you, man? Probably all that butt sex as a choir boy. <laughs> See Andrew coming. Gonna be a bad day. This chin is done. This chin is done. <coughs> there's no there's no way in fucking hell that you wrote any of that at I all. I did! No, you didn't. I did! No, I you did! Didn't. You I did! did. You did, did look up at the Walmart line like, I'm confused as yeah. to why this is there. I, I fucking wrote, I you swear wrote, to God. You wrote jokes. I swear to God. You wrote jokes that you didn't get as you were saying it. I, no. Absolutely. I, you were surprised by some of the I was surprised how fucking good they were and how bad <laughs> you guys are. Give me one verse. Give me one verse from that song without the fucking paper. Well, I can't. I wrote you it. You wrote it. Yeah, I wrote it. You can't remember one fucking verse without looking at the, pa- at uh, the paper. Something about his uh, asshole. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, of course I wrote it. Of course He's I wrote right. it. Shit. Swear to God. You got Eminem to write it. You got Jude fucking rapping about him. He's, I, guess I see what happened here. You got some. I, yo, t- I, I, didn't, I didn't give. I didn't write shit for for that. <laughs> None of it. I didn't write. I didn't write shit. I believe you didn't write it. Yeah, like I didn't. Yeah, I had nothing to do with it. The first person that helped you write the original right. freestyle didn't help. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. I, I would tell you. I would. I would gladly give it up. That's all me. All the pain you're feeling is real. You uh, were kind of shaking your head like, what the fuck is that? As you I were know. reading the stuff that you I wrote. I mean, come on. You, no, were, I, you were surprised. Well, I was surprised by, again, how good it was and how great it sounded. <laughs> right. And the flow was fucking tight. That's why I was surprised. I was shocked by how fucking great You could have put any beat under that 
rapping, and it would have been the exact same. Yeah. That's why, again, I'm going to win, because I know what I'm fucking doing. <laughs> okay. All right. It did, have, it did yeah. have a sort of spoken word, like, like beat element to it that I don't Beatless ordinarily associate. It. Kind of lost the fucking... Anyway. Yeah. Andrew, are you ready? Yep. Greatest he, rap I battle. think he's a little bit more confident now. All right. Here we go. Andrew, I'm running this rap success. John Matthews is scared shit bliss. His adult diapers full of piss. My draws are clean and spotless. Watch John stumble clueless while I lyrically play chess. John, let's be honest. The game's over. Honestly, you'd look better with a makeover. Yeah, more convincing as a lady. That plus no chick ever wants to have your baby. That, mean you're, that means your dick's dry until you cry when you use that as lube to jerk it like a guy. But you got a micro dick that a hooker won't even lick. And I haven't even mentioned your chin yet. That's such an easy target, let's not forget. It sticks out like a sore thumb. When you walk in, it's already been there for ten minutes, dum-dum. <laughs> so go ahead, stupid, with your attack track. I imagine it'll be as weak as your back because you have osteoarthritis, old man. And newsflash, you got hepatitis from a dude named Stan. So have fun tonight sleeping on a couch, eating oat bran, while I fuck your bitch and watch C-SPAN. <laughs> I'm Andrew, I'm running this rap success. John Matthews is scared shitless. His adult diapers full of piss. My draws are clean and spotless. Watch John stumble clueless while I lyrically play chess. <laughs> Yeah, your rap was cute, John, and mildly funny, but the pros here now, and you got an upset tummy. Just don't puke on the ground and mess up your shoes. It's obvious with those you can't afford to lose. But my lyrical flow has got you shook. So much you probably need to open a book. But first, put on your geriatric glasses. You know the ones you use to stare at girls' asses? Because you're also a creep that I'm surprised hasn't got caught. Hanging outside of elementary school saying that you brought candy for the kids. It's just around the corner. And then, surprise, you try to show them your boner. But it's flaccid, so run into traffic and be an organ donor. That'll have a positive impact on this planet because you got the charisma of granite. Yeah, you're a rock, so open your stink-ass mouth and enjoy my verbal cock as I finish in your throat and you make noises like a wounded goat. <laughs> Still going. <laughs> Oh, man, I mean... Oh, fuck. You can God. hear it in Jude's voice. Oh, buddy. <coughs> I mean, uh, the phones are wow. lighting up with votes. Hey, they, I don't even know the number. I was about to th th throw out my number. Hey, Jesus yeah, Christ. Eight five five Ellis 41 is the number to call, and we will take votes from everybody on the phones. And uh, We won't say anything. You guys can... Right. Yeah, yeah, we're we'll not take... going to sway the vote one way or another. It's... uh. No, bullshit. Big black penis on the phone. Uh huh? <laughs> big, big black penis, you're on the air. I am not. Yeah, you are. Yeah. And His vote counts for double. Yeah. <laughs> That's one of mine. <laughs> you're fucking damn right it is. Uh, hello, Mike. Welcome to the show. Hey, what's up, man? I just want to say that, uh, unfortunately, as much as I hate John, he still fucking won, and Andrew, you suck dick. Look at that. Look at wow. that. Mark it down. Mark it down. That's one. One Man. for John. Did you actually think that you were going to get a call like that, John? Absolutely. You look just as surprised from that phone call as you did of the lyrics <laughs> that were coming out of your mouth. I wrote it! You did not. Jason, welcome to the show. Yeah, hi. I got to vote for John. Mm. Andrew is Andrew is just too damn tone deaf. Wow. All Thank right. you. Thank Whereas you. John sat right there in the pocket. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, two for John. Man. Hey, uh, J no, Cade. Hey, what's up? Yeah, hey. I, got, I got John. Mm. Three for three. I feel like everybody who's calling is from the Jude Show. No, I think they're all from. I think they're all your. Guy. Those are all your listeners, we, and don't, they hate. They don't like. <laughs> they don't like Andrew. Why don't we ask them? Why don't we after they vote? Let's ask them who they're from. Yeah, cause I'm kind of Junior. What show are you from? Yo, hello, Junior. What up, man? What show do you usually listen to, Jason or oh, Jude? I listen to Shade Forty Five all day, man. Jude, uh, shout out to you, man. You be killing that shit all day, every day. Okay, but like, who won the? Who won? The, who won it? Oh, 
who won? I mean, I right, to be honest, the both of them sound tone deaf and fucking like half retarded. So that's for one. But to be honest with you, John, you was talking about a little bit too much in the butt, bro. So I'm going to give that to Andrew because no! it was uh, slightly tighter, bro. For sure. right. Slightly tighter. Hey, hey, I can call hey, your bro. album, man. <laughs> <laughs> Tone deaf, but at least at least Drew was riding the beat, man. You were like, uh, uh, and then I went to uh, stick my kid in his ass. <laughs> Get rid of this guy. <laughs> yeah. In his defense, that is kind of your style. That's, that's your your angle is that. Good <laughs> <laughs> rap is like hoodie hoodie Allen. <laughs> <laughs> hoodie Allen. <laughs> Robert, welcome to the show. Hey, what's going on, uh, Ellis fam listener? All right. And uh, I'm voting for the farter, farter Andrew. All right, there's Thank Andrew. You. I got Thank three, you, three votes to two for uh, John currently. You're not going to start calling anything rigged on it or anything, are you, John? Yeah, I'm just going down the line. I smell a rat. <laughs> <laughs> Gino, what show are you from? I love this now. It's like, what show are you from? We should play a football game against each other. Gino. Oh, four, five all day, man. Rude Jew. All right. All right. Who are okay. you voting for? Uh, man, I got I fuck with John, man. John got them bars. Mm. Got mixtape when they drop. That's right. Okay. He knows. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if I can bullshit, but okay. Nick, welcome. Four two. No, Nick, welcome to the show. Hey, how's it going, man? Hey, I'm uh, totally for Jude, and uh, yeah, yeah. I didn't rap. Yeah. The, the yep. name is John. Right. He didn't say. John, he didn't no, no, say. no, no, no. He dropped. That's sorry. He didn't say. Oh, see? He said he listens to Jude. This is how and you guys do it up. over here. This is how you do it. Is anybody, did you tell him there was going to be a rap battle, or is it just like, hey, we're leaving? No, we did a full, we Check did a full 20 minute fucking tease for this uh, shit. Uh, <laughs> David, welcome to the show. Hey, uh, I listen to you both, but mostly Ellis. I got to give it to Andrew. Man, ah. You spent too much time trashing on everybody else, man. This is supposed to be you versus Andrew. What the fuck you doing? That's a good point. I mean, especially that Howard Stern thing. I'm thinking yeah, about riding that. a battle That's myself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think, I, I think I'd do okay outside of series, but hey. <laughs> Don't fucking try to reverse it. You fucking said it, just, right? Hey, you ain't getting out of it. I'll remember did, that did for Did you write that line? Oh, come on. John, you wrote that line about Howard? Of course I did. Okay. All right. I believe it. No. See, upper management likes that. <laughs> Attacking the big stars. <laughs> Come on. John. John, welcome to the I show. To both, I listen to both shows, and I must say, you guys think Andrew's a robot, but man, John sounds like fucking Johnny Five. But uh, I'm voting for Andrew, man. He freaking killed it. Ooh. It's tied now, right? It's tied. Yeah. Huh? Well, how, many, how deep are we going here? <laughs> I, I guess we'll go to 10, huh? Do you, want, do you want, do you want to, if, it's, if it goes to 10 and it's even, do you want to rap battle it out? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Jason in Baltimore. Yeah, I got to go for John, man. <clears throat> Fuck, man, what's your name? God out. damn it, I'm from Maryland. Man, he is. He See? smacked Andrew down like a bitch. Mm. He snapped your arm like a bitch. Mm. Fuck Baltimore. Is that a <laughs> Yes. Wait, fuck where you're from because um, of that one guy? Oh, I'm from Maryland, not Baltimore. <laughs> God damn it. Wait, isn't that in Baltimore? Yeah. Well, Baltimore's in Maryland. Oh, sorry, I'm Australian, so. <laughs> Terrible city. Amanda, a lady, a lady's opinion. Hi, you guys both suck shit. Yeah, well, that's, <laughs> that's the fucking point, Amanda. But yeah. anyway, who won out of the worst bat rappers alive? Uh, the better out of the two is Andrew. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck John was doing there, but <laughs> yeah, my vote's for Andrew. There Sorry. it is. Thank you. We're tied at five. All right, so that's fine. Do you want one of these guys to pick the line or some shit? Or are you just going in any order? Or oh, wait. For the tiebreaker. Okay, yeah, yeah. You you touch a button. Yeah, go ahead, Jude. Pick whatever. Yeah. Yeah, you can't see. Just yeah, reach over and hit just I, I, No, oh, I didn't. Okay, I, didn't okay. uh, touch this line <laughs> I don't know. Buttons. There's buttons. There we go. We got a, we got a caller? Okay, it's... Donald, welcome to the show. Okay, it sounds like an... Hey, uh... I think I got to vote for Andrew. Fuck. Yes! Oh, fuck you, John! Oh, fuck you, John! Oh, Obvious oh, Andrew oh, wrote his. John oh. sounded like he had hell. Oh, 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 now, 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 Andrew, you said that uh, you thought Donald sounded, well, sounds like, sounded like it'd be an Ellis yeah. listener. Yes. Now, what, what are you basing that on? Oh, his name. 
Donald. <laughs> what is it about the name Donald that seems like Sorry, more, more, more Ellis? Uh, oh, I see. We've never had a wow. Donald call in that once. <laughs> really? No. Oh, nah. Man. Donald Driver never we've called. Donnie's Don. I've had Donald a big Glover. black penis call in a bunch of times. Well, maybe the big black penis is your guy. No, it's not. I'm Damn. just making that up. <laughs> Damn, John. You, uh, you lost. I know. I know. This is terrible. <laughs> right, but... And I did write the, it. The guy that wrote it for you is going to be extra pissed. <laughs> oh. See, but again, that is a testament to how fucking good it was and how rigged this whole shit is. Okay. <laughs> okay, but, but the good news is this allows us to do it again. <laughs> because if we just lock each of these guys in a room for like an hour where we can keep tabs on them so that we know that they are actually writing it by themselves, then we'd actually have a fair rap battle, right? Yeah. Okay. Just give us each the same track, and we have to yeah. spend an hour in a studio yeah. and come yeah. up with something and bring it back? Yes. Yeah, I'm I'm happy to do that, John. Are you? Yeah. The one I'm hour challenge. I'm glad. Glad to do that. Close your eyes. You're insane <laughs> right now. I mean, I'm intense. This is serious. <laughs> All right, look. Hey, today, uh, I, let me, can I call up my things? Because I want, I want my callers to call in after, uh, as, when we run over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, today, 7423345, we want your feedback on the rap battle. Gentlemen, thank you for having us. At, Thanks for being thanks. on here again, dude, as usual. It's always, John, it's, suck a dick. Right. Damn, you lost, John. <laughs> Fucking right, how it's done. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Shit burns. See? It hurts. It hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you. We'll be back, assholes. Checking out the All Out Show with Rude Jude on demand. So come on down. This is Shay Forty Five. That was a, that was an epic rap battle. Uh, the vote the votes were in. You lost six to five. Um, I'm not gonna tell my. I'm not gonna say my opinion until we take all of the fucking calls. How you feeling, John? Defeated. You feeling a little upset about I that am. loss? Yeah. And for the record, I did write that. I don't doubt that you wrote that. I think I. I know. I, I don't doubt that you wrote it. I thought. I thought uh, it was a good showing. All right. Let's uh. Let's go to the phone calls. See what they think about it. Tim in Los Angeles. Go ahead, Tim. Yo, it's good. John, if you wrote that, that is straight fire. I'm really impressed. I think the guys were a little skeptical. Myself, I was too. How much time did you spend writing that? Uh, that, was a, that was a couple drafts in. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> hour or so. That's a little more than that, actually. Dude, the delivery was, was just a little weird, a little bizarre, but the the bars were tight. All right. I give Jude a lot of credit for, for being in good influence on you man i didn't think you had it in you thanks tim i will th- take that you wouldn't have been able to do that a year ago absolutely not no absolutely absolutely not. you got a little more got a little more you know appreciate it keep it up fellas more street maybe riding the bus all those times got you're like eight mile <laughs> i last night i was sitting there watching uh clips of wild and out there you go inspiration there you go dan in houston i was Yo, John, man, you started off on fire, bro, and then you just shit the bed totally on that, man. Like Jude said a couple months ago on the show, you've turned fucking up into an art form that is absolutely irreplaceable, and ironically, he can't fire you for fucking up because it's the best part of the show, man. Gee, thanks, Dan. Okay, that's that's wonderful. But by the way, sure, I didn't really uh, maintain a level that was, uh, well... You're the gift that keeps giving. I just fucked it up. I know, it's true. John, you didn't maintain shit, man. As soon as you got to Walmart, you started stumbling and couldn't pick it back up, man. The bars were there, like the last caller said, but you just fucked up. <laughs> Tiffany Thanks, in West man. Virginia. Tiffany, go ahead. Um, John won. Andrew's shit was fucking boring. I stopped listening. To Thank you, Tiffany. And, you know, you're good. It was good. Don't listen to everybody saying that you fucked up, because it was, it was good. It was better than his. See? Was boring. Exactly. Shannon in Jersey, go ahead. Brevity. Andrew put me to sleep. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon. Yo. Go ahead, man. Yo, what up? Yo, John, that was good, yo. Except for you shit the bed towards the end of that. You needed to uh, hey, yeah, I know. stay on point. Yeah, but the thing stay was... Stay on point. Yo, listen. It's not that hard. Listen, focus on what you're doing, and then you'll be able to 
you'll kill him next time. I got faith in you. Be was slow as hell, too. On you. Listen, but you can do it. I'm not going to say you still don't fuck up the show, because that's mm. for sure. Thanks, Shannon. But you can <laughs> definitely beat him in that battle without a doubt. Yeah, I, I don't know if you, he thinks you won or not, but uh, <laughs> it's ambiguous. It was just a whole bunch of shitting on you. Deshaun in Atlanta. Yo, John. Yeah. Man, you, you, you had it with the bars. This is not helpful. So kudos to you writing that. But you, the beat came on, and you're like, hey, man, I'm about to feel it. I'm about to feel it. And then you didn't feel shit, bro. The delivery, like, you, you could have killed him. Andrew's bars was just okay, but his flow, his delivery, he was on the beat. If you were on the beat, man, if you had bitches feeling your meat, you probably would have felt the beat better, bro. You could have killed him. No, it's valid. Great. No, absolutely. Good. Beat was slow as hell, too, John. From the last on battle, purpose. Bro. I mean, great improvement. I can definitely say that. The bars was killing it. Look, and the way you, you went after Kill everybody, it. you went after everybody, it, it, it paid off. I think it, I think it hurt Ellis a little bit. You see that? I think he's actually He's still ass. mad at you. I know. Yeah. Ellis is still mad at you. Wow. See? I know it hurts. You got a fucking, you got an enemy in it's Ellis not, now. I know. Look at that. It's not passive aggressive. That's aggressive aggressive. Yeah, he is not. No, he, there's no passive aggressive. I wouldn't want him mad at me. You know, you he, told me to do that. He's. I didn't tell you anything. I don't know what you're talking no, about. No, n- not that one. But you, I, you said do that. I said, hey, that's not a bad idea. And then here we are. He's mad. <laughs> yeah. Straight up. Bummer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everything comes at a price, bro. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm looking forward to that studio battle, though. That shit's about to be live. Definitely keep your writing up for that. All right. That go. Yeah. I would go. I would double down too. I would double down on going after everybody. That's how you do it. They already don't like you, John. Oh, I know. They already don't like. He you. didn't even say goodbye. I, I didn't bother <clears throat> looking up. Mike in San Diego. Yo, John, man, you did all right. I'm not gonna lie, but you still are that that child that no parent ever wants. You know what I'm saying? So. Thanks, Mike. That's very helpful. Hey, I love you, John. All right. You make me feel better about myself. I, I love you, man. I'm glad I can inspire you. Not What's to that suck German this word where they like other people's fucking misery? Schadenfreude. Yeah, you're Schadenfreude, John. Yeah. You're fucking Schadenfreude. Everyone enjoys my suffering. Yeah, fuck you. Well, no. Hey, yeah, dude, yeah. man, but he, he did good, man. He did all right. He still just, if he just gave up that life, it'd be better, you know? Oh. For free the world of my loserdom. Okay. I don't know if he just no, wants you to you. die or what, but like I'm gonna go ahead and just hang up the phone. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Mike. Joey and Diego. Hey, man, I gotta say Andrew won because John was all over the place trying to insult everybody. Andrew just stuck on. John just went in John's ass on that one, man. Mm. John, you suck, dude. <laughs> Cal in Atlanta. Man, fuck that shit. John, you a real fuck up, but you know what? You went out the entire team and you fucked them up, man. You fucking won that shit. You were fucking robbed. But Thanks, Cal. Up, and I'll cut your ass out again. All right. You- Jameer. Yeah. Go ahead, man. Hey, man. John. John, just like all the previous callers said, yo, your delivery was whack, but I think you won. And, dude, I think if that, if that rap battle was at your spot, it would have been a totally different outcome, man. All right. There you go. I Here's, I, here's my opinion. Appreciate you. I think you lost. I think you lost, dude. No, like I, I, I was surprised it was as close as it was. I know. And by the way, I his his the the length. Yeah, uh, and he had and, like two fucking full fucking things. They were they were complicated. And he got very personal. He was very very personal. <laughs> personal. He's I mean, talking about the, your chin and sleeping on the couch. He really studied the show. No, my my and insults. Your dirty underwear. My insults were more severe. I, I think he was just going for the low hanging fruit. I, I they I didn't I didn't hear them. I just I said wow that's a lot of that's a lot on that piece of paper there. That's about all I, I realized. <laughs> yeah, he did do a whole song Jeez. and he did like a verse. I but I thought that you I thought you did your thing, bro. Like wasn't terrible. No, I was, you, I, don't, I was very worried yesterday, and I sat down. I was like, I've got a real problem. After you rapped, I thought you were gonna win. I was like, oh, John got him. Like after you rapped, I was like, John got him. And then Andrew came and I was like, oh, damn. He said that your chin enters the room 10 minutes before you do and shit like that. I yeah. was like, wow. But I can find some kid out on the street who's 12 who'd write that line. That's pathetic. I mean, I'm, I'm bringing real insults. Ones well, they're, they're still talking about now. What, yeah. what was your real insult? Well, the Ellis one clearly uh, cut uh, cut pretty deep. Okay, so you insulted Ellis. Right. 
And uh, for some reason, I've uh, convinced myself that uh, Andrew has uh, some sort of uh, latent homosexuality. I don't know why I kept doing that. But it made you, you sounded kind of gay when you were saying it. I know. <laughs> some, somehow you made his latent homosexuality sound like your latent homosexuality. I don't know how you were able to do that, but you did. Yeah, that's, as I said, this is several drafts in. I had to go back and cleanse it from some of, a lot of the gay stuff. It was getting a little too gay heavy. I think the upside was you dissed everybody. That was like a real, like, that was like what real rappers do. They diss the whole crew. And like, as Justin said yesterday, right out of the gate, I hit him hard. Yeah. I mean, maybe they won't remember that, but that What'd one say? Like, uh Something about uh, you're all talentless fucks. Yeah, there you go. Like, See? You just needed to be on beat a little bit more. Just to be on beat a little bit more and come a little bit harder. Sometimes just calling them bitches and shit in the end of the rhymes help. Better if we could do it in here. Home home court advantage. I, I go in there. They're already they're already out. To, I mean, I no. I prefer to be the underdog. So fuck that. But we always go in there, and then we're on this this enemy territory. But here, I've got. Uh, I'm not really comfortable. I won't say that. But you, I mean, you, you'll get rhythm in here. Is that what, what is that what happens if you're in this box? You Wait have rhythm. But if you go in that box, you lose rhythm. No, it's fine. Fuck sakes, man! Look. One one lost one 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 one. Half the people, most of the people thought you won. I'll take it. Although I lost. Yeah, you did. I know. I did. You Fuck. Did. What? I wanted to win so bad. Be honest with me. Be honest with me. Do you really think you won? No. All right then. No, no, I don't. <laughs> but that wasn't terrible. It wasn't terrible. <laughs> I like the way that you just, yeah. Is that how you lie to yourself every day? Like when you go to sleep in another man's house and don't pay rent, you're like, I'm crushing it. Could be worse. <laughs> you can always slide farther. <laughs> All right, here's the deal, y'all. We are actually going to talk to a real rap legend. Uh, I pre taped this shit with Scarface last week, and we get to air it today. Me and Scarface sit down, chop it up for, for a full hour. He is one of my favorite MCs and arguably uh, one of the best MCs ever. I got him top two, him and Pac, um, but that's me. So don't go anywhere. When we come back, it's a Scarface interview. Me and Face chopping it up. Scarface and Juder McDooter. Afton. It's, man, you guys are getting all rap all day today. Just bars, bars, bars. Bars and cars, baby. Let's go. Shape 4 5th. Look at you, you little dirty ass nigga. You ain't shit. You are checking out the All Out Show with Rude Jude on demand. We, we in? Yeah, we in. Yo, Scarface Yo. is here. So don't you don't you just love how me and you just jump right into this yeah. shit like we've been knowing each other for like 15 years? Yeah, in fact, I haven't had an interview yet where Face isn't drinking something or eating potato chips. <laughs> it's like, fuck Jude. Exactly. Fuck your show. And Now what the fuck is that? That's your phone? You know what I'm saying? God <laughs> damn it, Face. God fucking. Hold up. It's Shahid. Shahid, what's good? <laughs> yeah. He got to holler at Shahid. And I guarantee you. Okay, that's cool. See you there. See you there. You're not talking about shit. Okay, bro. Yeah, for sure. All right. He's not talking about fucking thing. Man, you remember Shahid from Tribe? Shahid, yeah. Shahid (laughs) Mashid Muhammad got me doing calisthenics. (laughs) Were you doing some shit with him? You never know. (laughs) You you just going to. Cut it off, right? Man, (laughs) you on some bullshit, face. You on some motherfucking bullshit. How you doing? You, you got family? skinny little motherfucker. <laughs> she got an eating disorder? Yeah, I do. I can't wait to eat. Yeah? You I, lost man weight. You look nah, good. I've seen you since I've been skinny. Nah, you you that? hopped on the phone. And that's a lie. That's a lie. I was in the room with you. Oh, yeah, the other room. You were. Yeah, man. You were. Can, <laughs> can we talk about the stuff I was... I just looked. I just looked. You're like top 10. Give me get a fucking... Look, uh, it's on the other side. Okay. You made it top 10. I did? Yeah, congratulations. Top 10 what? The source ranked you number six, uh, 16 on the top 50 lyricists. What was this? I don't know, but fuck that. That shit pissing me off. I ain't mad. You're two. 
You were one or two? Nah, never. Who do you put what, ahead what, of you? What, what year is this? I don't know. I don't do the research. Oh. Fucking John gave the dude with the big ass chin. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking the, the ski face. I yeah. like John, man. Don't do that. Uh, yeah, John I like cool him too. as fuck. Yeah. yeah, John's all right. John's all right. Yeah. To be to be fucking even in that, even on the sheet, it's kind of cool to me. You feel me? This whole fucking my whole my this whole interview is going to be me going through your old shit and just arguing why you're number one or number two. That's going to be a sucky ass interview. All right, you don't want to do it. Fine. All right, peace out. <laughs> See you later. You know what's a better interview? You eating fucking potato chips and answering the phone. <laughs> That's a better interview. You know, you face it, face no. <laughs> Ali Shaheed Muhammad's got to call him back about some shit. <laughs> nah, man, I, I, I'm glad to be on that fucking list. In all honesty, man, are you for real? Because man, think of how many people rap. Yes. How many people will never ever make that list? It's true. How many rappers will be forgotten about next year? I always say this. People will be like, oh, don't you hate MC such and such? I was like, why? It's like hating a cloud. It's going to go away in a minute. <laughs> no it's just shit. fucking, it's going to blow away in a minute. I got, all you got to do is wait. No shit, man. They fucking disappear. Go. What have you learned? So, like, what, 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 and you keep making music, bro. You keep, you keep making music that's relevant, <sighs> that people want to fuck with, and you're true to your style. Is that, is that, is that, what the, is that the, I don't want to hear that, I, you know. Is that it? The true to your style I, shit? No, nah, I just don't want to get dissed by you, man, because you're tough on them motherfuckers, bro. You know, when you, you know, the, the, when, you, when, when, is, what is it, what is it, pump it or dump it or some shit? Or oh, I don't, t- yeah, yeah, you fucking hate shit. or love it. Hate yeah. or love it, that's yeah. that shit, yo, bro. We got the meanest, we, I, the fuckers is mean, bro. I don't think, I, I was, I just did a podcast yesterday, and I was like, I, I was like, I feel beat up because you guys don't understand how mean our callers are. Like, we yeah. got we, yeah. we got the roughest callers. It's fucking heartless, man. Yeah, they, yeah, you got to be hard on this bitch. Heartless, man. Heartless. So to be on that list, like, and I say it again, man, I'm glad, man, bro. And I don't, and I, I maintain, I stick to what I do because I don't want to, I don't want to disappoint my peers. You know, I don't want to disappoint my, my listeners. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that would be I would be fucked up if I had some bad shit and I had to come in here and sit and talk to you about my bad shit. Aren't you a lot but I always look, man, you look at you look at classic motherfuckers, everybody's got like a fucking shit album that they had to get out of their system. You know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta like make something kind of crappy to get to the next point. Mine was the last of a dying breed. I fucking love that one. <laughs> I didn't. Why didn't you like Last of a Dying Breed? It just didn't sound right. It, just, it didn't. It didn't. I'm sorry. It just didn't. It didn't feel right. It didn't feel like a Scarface album. Look, if if I was gonna knock it, I, w- I would say that it wasn't all the way cohesive with some of the songs. If that was, if that was gonna be, that's a, probably gonna be it. If that was the critique. But that being said, like the, all of the songs were like my shit. Damn. And I, that's like the only album I've never listened to ever again after I done it. This is gonna be therapy for you. It is. Why are you gonna play some? Yeah, I'm gonna play you. I'm gonna this. Listen to yo, bro. Like, don't play that shit. <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? I don't know. I'm tired. <laughs> What's wrong with you? this title track? Is so fucking. I have the original title track somewhere. You want me to send it over to you? I would. I would listen. I'm gonna play it right here. No, nah, I don't play that. I want to send you the right one. I'm, this ain't the. No, I got the original. All right, I'm gonna play this while you while you sending me the original. All right, hold on, hold on. Listen to this, bro. This, Ooh, this is how it comes in. Hard. This is how it comes in. That's kind of hard. I know you. You are. You're always really too critical of your shit, which is good. Listen, oh, that shit kind of hard. I don't. Re- I, this used to be like a regular song I played in my pill mix, man. Wow. Like I'm couldn't sleep. Yeah, come on. Ultra sound. Yeah, I'm a bad motherfucker, man. Did you? What was your, <laughs> like, what was your relationship like? That this this was almost like a, this weird relationship. It kind of like painted this weird relationship between you and your mother in that song. Hold on, I'm trying to get the original. I'm never gonna get this fucking original. Oh, oh everything. This is the album you didn't like. What's wrong like with it. you, bro? Planted in my seat, the last of this motherfucking breed. Ooh, that shit hard. I related to it, man. Like, cause I really felt like. I feel like you are the last of this breed. Man, that's a hard ass song. And you're man. and you're like fucking this is 20 years ahead. This was what? 01, 2000? That 2000. shit. 2000. 
It's damn near 20 years ago? Yeah. And you call it? Big time. You called that shit. You called your shot 20 years ago. You're like, I'm the last of the breed. And then, yo, when Look Me In My Eyes comes on. <laughs> What's up, everybody? How you doing, man? How you doing? Oh, oh. Songs for you, John. Listen listen to this shit, bro. Listen, to, this is for you. And for a showdown, John. What's that? I heard a whisper. I've got this. I've got this. Sort of. Are you afraid? Not afraid. No one knows. If you're just tuning in and you're like you haven't been following the show, I'm going to catch you up right now. John Matthews has gone into the, the Thunderdome twice of rap battles in the name of Eminem, Paul Rosenberg, Stop. Def Jam. Stop. J45, All Out Show, repping everybody. Now I'm going rogue. He's taking a win and he's taking an L. And now we're doing... The last hurrah, you versus Jason Ellis's producer, Andrew of Rit. John, you are literally just leaning all the way down in your seat. You're you're crouched over. Body language is saying, telling me that you are fucking scared, but I want you to be brave, John. I should have called in one of these rad people that we know through the show. Had them help me out a little bit, but I guess that would have been cheating. I thought about Nobody it. Nobody would have known. I thought about it. You cheated on the fucking, who d- who should be in the office, Jude or John? I did not cheat. You fucking cheated. I, I know cheat. you cheated. I, I out- know you I cheated. I out-cheated you. I out-cheated you. You really you're cheated. Gonna, yeah. You're going to cheat me? I'll cheat you. You stuffed the box big time. I didn't stuff the box. I just didn't read. I just read them wrong. I just literally read them wrong, because fuck you for cheating. I didn't cheat. Yeah. I did a little campaigning. They swayed the vote. Looking in their hearts. You wasn't even supposed to be asking the question. You're a fucking cheater, and then this is the one time where you could have, like, called up a rapper and, like, got some help, and you didn't. I like, asked for a little guidance from, there's little, from somebody the, we know. Oh, Andrew's coming in here right now. Uh, the two fucking, the two guys face each other. They're talking. They seem pretty civil. He's wearing a fucking purple shirt. Barney. Something like that. I'm just giving you some ideas. Shit. God damn it, you're, you're fucking up my whole game here. No, I'm not fucking up your game. I'm just saying I'm helping you. Or not. It doesn't have to rhyme with Barney. It just has to be in the line. He's got a whole world of hurt coming his way. Don't worry about it. When is that going to be? In a half hour? No, more like... Uh, 15 minutes? 15, 20. 15 fucking... 15, 20 minutes. Uh-huh. John, you're a cheater, just so you know. You're a cheater, you're a liar, and you're a fucking... And you're passive-aggressive. I reject all those, and I could back it up. I was waiting for you to back it up. You're not gonna, yeah? Because well, you're, you're just saying you're a lying things, ass cheat. You're saying these things are true as though they're just fact. I mean, the, if we went case by case, you yes, I could mount a defense. You, you yes me to death, and then just do the opposite. That's passive aggressive. And that's your point of view. That is huh. the way you view the world. See how crazy he is? That's what I live with. You're trying to. You're trying to gaslight me. You're not gonna fucking gaslight me. You fucking cheating ass, passive aggressive motherfucker. I didn't cheat. There was no cheating. That was an honest vote. No, it wasn't. I don't know why we're going to bicker about this, but I'm just going to say that... Turn off this mic so so we cannot bicker. Fuck you, your mic's off. When we discussed the fucking who's better for the office, we said have Keenan go around and fucking get the votes. That did not happen. Therefore, it wasn't a proper goddamn... It wasn't a proper vote. You fucking banana face fuck. You moon face motherfucker. Your face looks like Islam. Crescent moon ass motherfucker. Yeah, that's right. Don't say shit back. You want to cheat? I'll out cheat you. I got the fucking. You want to cheat? I, I'm counting them. So there you go. I'd have been cool. It actually would have been funny if I was l- l- less like than you. I probably am. But we'll never know because you cheated. I'm still rooting for you on this rap battle, John. Just know that. I want you to win. George Clinton Parliament has called. Uh, uh, fuck, man. It's uh, hey, I just got back from another world. <laughs> that's how you feel. That's how you feel, bro. I'm going to yeah. play that song for you, too. You have to hear this. All right, now this... we're going to get this goddamn song. Man, quit playing, dog. I got you. I'm glad man. you better at rapping than finding songs. <laughs> what do you do? For... They got you on medication, or you just deal with it? This really? You're going to play it through your phone? For, Dude, just into the cool microphone? For one second, man. You got an eighth-inch jack? Can we give them an eighth-inch jack? This is an iPhone 10. Jesus Sorry. fucking Christ. Here, play that song right there. Don't say it. Just play it. Which one? I just all right. Hold on. I'll, I'll just buy the fucking thing or pull it up on YouTube. No, nah, just no. You got no. You, fuck you, face. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, at least you was on time. I can't even say shit, bro. You showed up on time. You know what I mean? You was early. I was. Fuck yeah. You was early to the motherfucker. You lying. I ain't bullshitting. Bruh, you know what? You know what's so great about me being an older face? What? 
I'm always on time for shit now, right? Yeah. I remember one one of our fucking interviews, you was literally drunk at the liquor store. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was great. It was a really good interview. Thanks for real? For, yeah, thanks for calling in. Appreciate it. Yeah, you was in New York making one of your albums, just drunk in a bodega. For real? Yeah. Hey, that's fucked up. Ordering shit in the middle of the fucking interview. Burping and anybody shit. Anybody else? Yo, anybody else? Never again. But like, <laughs> you get yo, you get the fucking you can face treat me. You do whatever you want. Face treat me, the tr- tr- bro. I'm admiring your, your gear, bro. No, you not. You father clown on me. Nah, dude, because I'm used to seeing the white t shirt and the jeans and the. I'm trying to look like I own a boat, dog. You do. I'm trying to look like I own a motherfucking boat. People look, treat you dress. You you know this, right? I, they they treat you different when you dress preppy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, look at, look, yo, yeah, you fucking, you got a sweater with a zipper on that bitch. <laughs> you got a motherfucking sweater with a zipper on that bitch, hey, you know. Time, time to change, times have changed, okay? Yeah, bro, like, uh, all right, here, I'll pull it up for you right here. Uh, got good fucking credit? Yo, cre- yeah, credit on fleek. <laughs> I'm just signing my name on shit now, like I got a board to pay for it. Straight up. Oh, I didn't want to leave. You grew up with a really diverse musical family. I really did. You played, a lot of people don't realize, like, that you played, you played the instruments on your albums. I really do. I be jamming, too. Yo, I got to go to my phone, man, because check this out. Oh, no, great. Man, stop doing that, bro. I hate How you do that, dog? I hate like, when don't regular do that. people don't do that, do that no shit more, to like, me. Uh, and then don't talk shit about my songs either, bro. They're like, hey, you want to hear this new song? It sounds really awesome on a fucking iPhone speaker. For the first time, I ain't gonna even play it now. You know, I was gonna just, I was just getting just ready to send it to you. Send it to me. I'll play it on the motherfucker. No, man, I got an eighth inch jack, bro. We can play it. Are you sure? Right. I, feel- I got the old phone. I got the six. I won't. I'm not giving that bitch up. <laughs> they, these motherfuckers made me pay top dollar just to keep a fucking eighth inch jack on that motherfucker. No they, shit. Yeah, bro. I paid damn near a rack for this bitch. This shit goes. So you still drinking shit or what? Me? Yeah. I got you there, man. I got you. I got fancy liquor and shit for you, bro. What the fuck? Y'all can't see this shit. I'm just shaking my head. Oh, it's the original that motherfucker. Ooh, that motherfucker hard. God damn. Ooh. Is that the uh, that's the OG? God damn. Text, it, text it to me. I'm gonna text you right now. That's the original. This is the original. This mother. Why did you? Why did that was the original Last of a Dying Breed? Why didn't it make the? Why didn't you couldn't clear samples or some shit? Yeah, yeah, it was one of those things. Mm. Ooh, that motherfucker hard. Check your shit though. I think it's there. All right, man. That motherfucker hard. Yeah, dude. Like you're out your fucking mind talking about. But wait a minute. Like I might not want you to play breed. that one. I think somebody was on there. Was somebody on there was corny. Is it? Yeah, this is the one I want you to have. Take this one. Oh my god! So erase that one. <laughs> no, don't erase it because that might be the instrumental. My DJ sent this. To erase me. it. You ain't even send it to me, Scarface. Oh, I hope I didn't send that shit to Scarface. Rupert. Seventy-two years old, trying to figure out fucking technology. <laughs> you didn't get it? No, man. Oh, there I get. All right, take it back. I got it. Here it she, comes. She got two of them though. I got. I got. One. <laughs> That's like the flag. You should have got. <laughs> We need to do a show together. Just me and you confused in the in, in yeah, Let's go, get high first. Go to different cities and be yo, confused yo, together. Cause bro, that's all this shit is. Man, What's that? Seriously, like you you've been on some cat tranquilizer before? Yeah. Holy yeah. fuck. It's like PCP light. That's the best way I can describe it. For real? Yeah, it's just like PCP light. Yo, so Mike Dean, man, I'm gonna tell Mike Dean's story. Fuck it. Mike Dean, we was in we was we were staying in the Bondrian, right? Yeah. And he went to this party on on top of the hill and he got full of that, uh G H B. Oh, and he he rolled all the way down the hill down the Sunset Boulevard. That sounds like some shit I would do. For real? No, he was high as fuck. <laughs> that sounds like some shit I would do, face. Yeah, I, I can relate to that. I don't even get mad. I Shout out to Mike Dean. He's the highest. He's the highest engineer in the world. So you want to play Kiss or Last of the Dying Breed? Play Kiss right quick. Right, let's see. I'm gonna eat a chip. <clears throat> Yo, you know, like, not to stay on that fucking album, the album that you hate. Look, this is what we're going to, this is, it's like therapy. You come in here, you tell me the shit you hate, and then I'll explain to you why it doesn't suck. And then be honest with you when you're eating chips in the fucking mic, and I'm like, that's fucking annoying. Man, I'm not listening to you right now. I know, you're busy on your phone. 
This is this is the fucking this is this right this one right shit this shit right here face. Come on, dog. This motherfucker. Leave the fuck. Yeah, yeah, up, Chris yeah. trying to block it like like this is. The, <laughs> you attacking motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I did that shit on purpose, man. I know, I know. I be fine. Yeah, I follow your Snapchat. You you be taking pictures of food and shit. No, I don't. You That's did, a lie. Uh, bro. I follow your. I follow your shit. Or not Snapchat. Your your Instagram. That's you jamming on the guitar. Is that Nirvana? <laughs> Is that I'm so. Uh, I'm so Hold on, you gonna get a chance to say right now. That was me. Oh, you can see it. You being able to play the you you being able to play an instrument. How does that help you put together a song? How 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 does that aid you in 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 the whole in your whole creative process? You 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 know notes. You know the notes. You know the key. You know you know what's supposed to go there. You know what I'm saying? Like if it's something playing, if it's a sample playing, you know what you can add to the sample, and yeah. then eventually you can pull a sample out. You see what I'm saying? You can right. pull that sample out and it'll be all your original shit playing. Interpolation. Is uh, that what it's called? I don't even think it's an interpolation. It's just a motherfucking whole, totally different song. Like for real. Cool. I'm going to try to find some more dope. Yeah, you can play on your phone into the into the microphone. It's awesome. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you just want to get all my secret shit, huh? Yeah, bro. Tell me about the Yo, this, this was another. Look, this is another one that was a classic off of this shit, man. Tell me, come on, man. Yo, pop. Oh, that was hard. Come on, man. Yeah, that shit was hard. That's that's. So check this out. Yeah. We um, we we can't work together. We can't. Like we're we're we, like I think that every rapper. Well, I'm friends with every rapper in Houston. Yeah. Except maybe Bushwick. But you, wait, you're not friends with Bushwick? <laughs> I just said that. About we all right. <clears throat> hey, that boy you, Bun B. Yeah. I like that shit right there. Yeah, he going. <clears throat> Bun goes in hard. Crunkin' and Carrington's on South Main is what that means. What's Carrington's? Is that a place? Yeah. Or a restaurant or something? Yeah. No, it's a, uh, a pool Park. hall. Kind All right, of yeah. Used to. Juice Crew. JR. Uh-huh. And this was like, this was like right on, this was like right Around the time that Big Pimpin' came out, before they really blew up right. nationwide. <clears throat> right. I've always been a UGK fan. I mean, ditto. Always. Ditto. Always. As a matter of fact, can we can we play the High Life right quick so I yeah, can cry me, in this bitch? Let me play that shit for you right now. Yeah, we're gonna, I'm going to cry because the High Life, that motherfucker saw me had me crying like a motherfucker. What is it? I, I, UGK is able to do this. You're able to do this. And I, th this is like I, I'm always shit. Like people always fucking fuck with me because I'm like there ain't no, there's no emotional depth. And, and the the rap I like has emotional depth. You're able to fucking say some shit that I actually fuck with that I relate to. Like I fucking when you when you talk about like wanting to fucking dead yourself or feeling yeah. alone or yeah, feeling yeah, rejected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like <clears throat> feeling, feeling. That's what music it should be in any way. It should be a feeling. That should be a vibe, man. Man, that's a jam right there. Did that come did that come easy to you to be able to to jam. be able to really just jam? Yeah. <laughs> to be able to just jam, yeah. Jude. I'm listening. I can fucking jam, dude. I don't give a fuck where I'm at. Here's a little highlight for you. Just that shit you fucking no, was real looking here. Face be drinking by himself to this shit to kill you. You, fuck up. you know what I'm saying They shoot all kind of game I'm just thankful the Lord bless me That I can see it a hundred miles away Man I'm, man, I'm Right here huh Yeah That's Chad singing that shit too we live in that high life. Super musical That's Pimp Listen, man, you not crying when you hear that shit, can't relate. Yeah. Man, that's some deep ass shit, man, to me. Did that hit you worse after he passed? You know what, stop. Stop that. Let me just yes, fade that down. So we always listen to UGK and get fried and start crying. Like, that was, yeah. <laughs> that was 
<laughs> that yeah. was a ritual. Yeah. You know, you wanted to get high and cry, you listen to that nigga. You listen to that UGK shit. Yeah. Because, because those albums, <clears throat> those were those albums, man, that really, it was so real. Those albums were so real, you know. That yeah. fucking riding dirty and <sighs> shit. That that Don Perignon is supposed yeah. to bubble. It's like, yeah. but every time I get with my nigga Big Mike, <laughs> yeah, that's the truth. We yeah. all lived in the Braidswood atrium, man, and 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 Bun and, and um, Chad used to come down and fuck with Big Mike. God damn! It's like it's like it's like cats trying to build, but then you keep doing self destructive shit. Like it's like uh, I write a bit about this. Yo. Um, what's, what's that? Ali Shaheed Muhammad's hitting you again? For real? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, allergy. No. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, allergies. <laughs> nah, I swear to goodness. Yeah. I was gonna say is yeah, the, the common theme. A the common theme in there is like trying to build, and but yet you're doing self destructive shit that you know is self destructive. For sure. For sure. But it's like that's all you know. That's all I know. <clears throat> that's, I mean, that's what I felt. Oh, thank you. Got to turn that mic off. I don't want to hear him fucking get disgusting. Go ahead. Yeah. Looks like you've been doing the ketamine too, huh, champ? K life. That motherfucker been snorting ketamine shit. You been shooting and snorting it. Man, I've been doing everything, man. I had I'm to chill. chill. Yeah, I had to chill, bro. Yeah, that ain't good, man. Man, you know. It was, yeah, it was like one of them deals. Yeah. Yeah. It gets dark. Uh, it gets dark. It, but it gets dark for a lot of cats, so I don't feel alone. But uh, I get, I was listen, actually, I was listening. I threw on your shit. I was listening to fucking, um, I was listening to The Diary and, and The Fix, man. Just fucking. Yeah, those yeah, are just, great. Those are great. Just records. in the zone. Really relating to it, you know. I think that um, The Diary it's not as good as the untouchable, but it's it may be kind of good though. I can't stand you, bro. The diary is the shit. It is. <laughs> I, I mean, I haven't heard that shit in fifty years, so I would. Bro, know. it was like it. It was. A, it was like. It, it's a concept album. It, it plays like a fucking movie from front to back. It really does. I told I, I I shout you out in in interviews when people ask about like how I put my book together. The diary is one of the albums that I studied because I want I wanted my stories to flow from front to back like a like dope. L- like like the way your songs f- flow from one to the other like that. I studied that shit. Dope hyena. You ain't read it. I got through a few pages. Get the fuck out of here. I did. I swear to goodness. You're like, man, that's good. <laughs> And fuck him. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah, you ain't you ain't read none of that shit. I did read some of that shit, man. But you know, I'm I'm black, so when I read, I go to sleep. I read it bed. <laughs> <laughs> Got books on tape, bro. Put that on tape. Yeah, it's on Audible, man. Audible. Yeah, man. Shit. What the fuck is Audible, bro? It's where they read the book to you, man. You just drive around. I got that shit. It's me, like once upon a time. Are you time. talking? Yeah, I'm downloading it right now. Yeah, bro. Hummingbird and honey, you know, I'm on that shit. I had to, I had to redo it because the first time I sounded mad stiff. It sounded like when uh, Ice Cube or when Ice T first started acting. Like remember when Ice T first started acting, he would be mad stiff. Like yo, do do do, like like the New Jack City shit. Not when he got real, when he got seasoned. What about when Ice T used to do his shit? He'd be like, Yo, this is Ice T. Make love to a gangster. <laughs> you got that cool mo D. No, no, no. no. <laughs> that was yeah. That's what my shit sounded like. I was like, nah, we gotta redo that one. We gotta re- we gotta redo that shit. Man, I'm I, I'm glad I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I know Ice T, man. Fuck yeah. You know what I mean? Like that was a huge fucking inspiration for me. That lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know him through records. I knew Ice T. Right. Right. I come to L. A. and get to go up in the in the hills to that house, and that's where my dream started. I was like, fuck. Was it like this is possible? Did you did did you did that make you did seeing the way Ice T was living was like oh this is possible I can get it like this? Yeah, Ice T was fucking balling, bro. 
Yeah. He had a fucking indoor. His, he had a fucking. He had the. He had the fucking sliding stadium shit before the sliding stadiums had it. Oh, for the pool, you open fucking that bitch right. up. That shit was. Shoo. He had the first euphonics board I'd ever seen downstairs in the, in, in his little basement studio, real live studio built. What is it? A euphonics board? Yeah. I don't even know what the fuck that is. Exactly. He had the first one. Science. Yeah, he was cold blooded. He was like, I got to get on. Well, how long ago was this? Was this when you were still called Action? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. See, this was like public enemy tour. <clears throat> It's funny that like cats don't realize that when I talk to a lot of when I talk to a lot of rappers, like I'm like, who'd you fuck with? And then y'all will say like these New York rappers and stuff that you don't sound anything like, but they were a big influence on you. Yeah, shit. I man, I I love Chuck D and uh, fucking Blastmaster. Yeah, you know. Um, who else off the East Coast? There was Cool G Rap, fucking Kane. Well, you did a song with G-Rap. You did Bushwick. I did. You yeah, did. I don't think Bushwick part count, though. Why not? <laughs> Why are you always shitting on Bushwick? I'm not shitting on him. Do you guys talk? Sometimes. <clears throat> but I think it was supposed to be me and Cube and, I, and G-Rap and rap, and I think Bushwick just popped up. You say his name too many times, and that motherfucker pop up. <laughs> like Beetlejuice. <laughs> <laughs> like, like Bloody Mary. Like, for real. So don't say that shit too much. He might. Yeah, he's out the door. Are you boys? Look behind you. Nah, man. Don't do that <laughs> shit. But he is like a little fucking ghost, man. Face. I, I was, heard you talking about me. That was a... Uh, yo, I, I, I'd say this time and time again. Wait, this... this. <laughs> no, 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 no. Is that Mayfield? That's Parliament. Funkadelic. Oh, yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, no one yeah. they came they came out yeah, around the same no time. Doubt. Yeah, for sure. And then you had then you had like cats like uh fucking uh Brother Lynch following in their footsteps. You, you can just say you you wrote the you know, uh you Yo, you wrote a bunch of that shit. I heard you I heard you play play yeah. You wrote some shit for fucking uh him on Gangster Love too. I did. Yeah, man. Like I, one version, I'm heard. I heard you rapping it. The other version, I heard motherfucking Bushwick rapping it. <laughs> right, this is this is where you got it. This is where you got your flow from, right here. But I think that was Curtis. That like my, like Curtis and I. We we spent a lot of time together, man. We we rapped and he, 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 I rapped. He beatbox. Yo, I got a song on uh. On um, Lost Files, man, talking about that shit. We gonna play some of that too. Actually, I got, I, I got, a, I, yo, I got everything. Yeah, you got about fifty dollars from me. I was high as hell buying all your albums. <laughs> so I don't know which. I don't know how much. I don't know how much you get, but uh, iTunes got a, iTunes got a, a stack. iTunes got a grip. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. iTunes, yeah. yeah. iTunes got a, all my money. I don't know what happened when I bought new phones. I lost all your fucking. I lost half your music. I had to go rebuy everything. Cool. I want to ask you about this. I'm. What do you think of uh you play guitar? Uh Pays very well. He's a bad motherfucker. Yeah. Hey, go, go ahead. ahead. <laughs> you gonna play something off your phone for me? That'd nah, be awesome. Nah, because you'll get mad. I'm not gonna do it. Fuck it. No, tell me what it is. We'll pull it up. I just so, we so, we sit around vibing with Scarface. He's playing me some of his favorite songs and telling me why. Uh, uh, it's a song called Think by Curtis Mayfield that Beyonce used for her uh, 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 I got it yeah. I got the instrumental yeah check this shit out now this song is very hard to play that may be the coldest one of the coldest lines in rap you doing what you doing but when the shoe gets flipped and you standing on your other foot and got your boots and shit yeah yeah, that might be a cold ass line right there. You you like you write a lot. You, you got a bunch of songs about you fucking up with girls. <sighs> I got a bunch of songs about me fucking up with girls. Yeah, man. yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know why? Because I can relate to it. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I've been. Yep, I did that. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I can relate to that. Motherfucker, call me the best bitch disser in the world. <laughs> <laughs> like I can diss the shit out of a bitch, man. For me, for you, you can you you can never be my main boo. We can remain cool, but we can't be seen. For this, I can blame you. <laughs> why is that? Why you got issues with why? How come you can't stay in a relationship? 
Man, you know, <laughs> shit, this is fucked up. Shit, man. You know how a motherfucker got a, a, a nose habit? Yeah. <laughs> got a dick habit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, man? Like, yo. Yeah. I, there's another, yeah, look. My dick be Jones and like a motherfucker. <laughs> There's another one about you fucking. Yeah. I'm got a bunch of songs about you fucking up with girls. <sighs> I got a bunch of songs about me fucking up with girls. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know why? Because I can relate to it. I'm like, yeah, I've been. Yep. I did that. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I can relate to that. Motherfucker call me the best bitch diss in the world. <laughs> <laughs> like I can diss the shit out of a bitch, man. For me, for you, you can you you can never be my main boo. We can remain cool, but we can't be seen. For this, I can blame you. <laughs> why is that? Why you got issues with? Why? How come you can't stay in a relationship? Man, you know, <laughs> shit, this is fucked up. Shit, man, you know how a motherfucker got a a, a nose habit? Yeah, <laughs> got a dick. Habit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, man? Like, yo. <laughs> Yeah. I, Triple Silver turns pork turbo and hit the road and go. Now right, here's a here's a here's a sample that you use from one of my favorite. Uh... This is what I like to do with cats, cause like, look, they don't they don't listen. They don't listen to me. They listen to you. <laughs> I beg them. Tell these motherfuckers some shit. That, like, tell them tell them some shit that's not rap to go check out. That, um, that you fuck with. I mean, you know what I've been listening to right now? Tell me. Darius Rucker right now. Give me a song, we'll pull up. Uh, I, I'm always, you, like, I, I always use this as a uh, fucking big boy from Outcast put me on the Kate Bush. I, like, I never, you never, I never would have thought that. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, well, if that's the case, then go to. It doesn't to, have uh, to be anything. Go to um, Mazzy Star right quick. Do you like that fade into you shit? Nah, go to uh 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 uh, uh ha- Hallelujah, whatever it is. Can you turn that radio off? Cause it, it shit make I, like I can't eat and chew gum at the same time or walk and and and, and, and ride motorcycles. I need to. It's got to be quiet so I can think. But let's hear that. That's fine. Okay. Sorry, bro. I didn't mean to bum, bum me up, bro. Sorry. Bum me the fuck out. You blew my high, dude. Don't sorry. fucking do that. Sorry for playing your songs. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> nah, cause I'm trying to think of shit to say, and I'm here like, yeah, you got you getting the melody. You yeah, yeah I'll be I'll be trying to sing and shit straight man. up. Yo, my mama said I shouldn't drive. Your mom told you you shouldn't yeah. drive. But I was a little boy. I used to sit in the back seat and listen to music with my eyes closed, crying and shit. Yeah. Like a little kid, she said I'd be back there. Nah, that's for the car seats came and stuff. Straight we had up, car seats. We just had to sit in the back. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you would fucking we would uh. I would. Uh, we were bad children, so we would get. We would not sit up. We would stand up and look out the back window <laughs> and fuck with fuck oh, with other drivers. Middle, yeah. What's the middle of the console uh, yeah. piece? That shit between the glass and the in the back seat in the trunk. Yeah, we laid up in that bitch. <laughs> nah, fuck we yeah. get our ass whooped, man. Well, I had a hippie mom, dude. She, yeah, was, she, she didn't give a fuck. <laughs> she tried to talk it out. <laughs> you know, Jude, you shouldn't. <laughs> we we got away with fucking murder with a hippie mom. Bruh. We go to the yeah. My mama had a nineteen seventy. 69 uh 69 Camaro. Oh, buddy. Yeah. My mom had one and I was sitting on the console right here. Yeah. And she was driving and my uncle was sitting in the passenger seat and a couple of more uncles in the back seat. It was a whole bunch of people in a little bitty car. Y'all deep. Yeah, we deep. And, and and shit, I'm sitting on the fucking uh yeah, right in the middle of the console. Bam, we have a big ass wreck. What happened to you? I broke my nose. Damn. Yeah, but I could have fucking got ejected from the fucking car. It could have been a lot worse. It's kind of crazy. That's I know it's crazy. Like seeing the way we we were raised in cars, and then you'll like I got homies. They they got they got their kids in car seats till they're like eleven. Like they got they like the car seat just keeps getting bigger and bigger. I'm like, damn, like yo, dude, like yo, like I want to be a dick here, but like. Like, this Y'all getting a wreck. He, it's, it's hey. either, he's either going to live going to die. This big ass padded fucking car seat ain't going to do shit, man. No shit. It's bad for their brain. This big motherfucker sitting back here smoking a cigarette. Yeah. And got him in the car seat. <laughs> the fuck out of here. I was, yeah, I was at the, yeah, yesterday I was walking. It was a 27 year old in a stroller. I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? Laying up in that bitch like a, a fucking mongoloid. <laughs> 
You thought, yeah, you think I'm bullshit. Feet was just, toes was Dang. dragging, just dragging, Crocs was dragging all on the ground. What the fuck is this? A fucking kid got, a, got an iPad bigger than my fucking, like a big ass iPad, watching a full movie on that bitch. I'm like, what the fuck? I got a big screen TV. Yeah, it's trying to, stroller. what part of the game is this, man? Where we live right now? Shit, man, I don't know, bro. I'm lost. Yeah, yeah I got, I can have me fucked up. Yeah, it was like I was at dinner. It was a kid. It was like a fucking seven year old ordering a steak dinner, man. Like with a fucking giant iPad. I'm like, what? <laughs> man, what the fuck? That motherfucker had the menu pulled yeah. up on the internet. Ordering steak like that motherfucker went to work. Like, like he had to go to like that's for grown ups. I'd like to have that butterfly. Yeah, straight up, medium, uh, medium rare. Yeah, <laughs> for real. Bruh. We'll have the cream spinach. Hey, you're damn, hey. Boy, you're a damn fool. Play the Mazzy Star for me. All right, me. let's get it. This is, here, here's a little something. Oh, yeah. here's, here's a face, face reco song from Deeply Rooted. What you want? This is it. This is the goodbye song right here. What do you want to end with? Um, Let's end with, uh, God damn, can I have two goodbye songs? Yo, yeah, we'll, we'll play them back to back. One Day Closer. Okay. And Same Old Same. Got it. Back to back. It's deeply Rooted. The Lost, Lost Files. Files. Yeah, that shit is... That's a lot of uh, and and get the get, and get the deeply rooted as well. Get get them both if you yeah you get them both. both. They they on sale right now. Um, I bought them both on my little phone. No, they're on sale. You should have waited because now it's just like twenty that's, bucks. That's some bullshit. God damn it! Well, but guess what though? The shit's independent. You should give me five. Good shit, bro. Thanks, pal. That independent shit. That independent shit is the real shit. Follow Scarface on Instagram and Twitter at Brother Mob. Wait a minute, who the right, fuck fine. is that? You got help? Yeah. All right. We have to leave. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not leaving. I'm, yo, wait. All right. This, we're, hey, look, me and Face going to argue about this shit right now. Here's back to back Scarface's songs, Deeply Rooted. Don't go anywhere. Deeply Rooted, Lost Files. Lost Files. Don't go Excuse anywhere. Yeah, Don't, go, go, go grab that shit. It's, right now. Support, support independent wanna, artists. Yeah, support the independent movement. Yo, get off the fucking slave ship. Will you push the button? Did you push the button? He's got it. Done. Oh. You are checking out the All Out Show with Rude Jude on demand. And now, it's time for News from the Chin with John Z. Matthews. There's an online petition now asking the USDA to allow food stamps to be used for pet food. Mm, Lots of pets. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. No. No. Over 100,000 people have signed this. Fuck them. <laughs> Fuck them and their pet. Pet's a luxury, dude. It's a fucking luxury. It's a luxury item. Now, the person who started this... Is a fucking twat. Says here... Some argue that people should not keep pets if they can't afford them. Yeah. But the fact is that an individual or family's financial status can change at any time. Okay. Should somebody be forced to give up their pet that they've had for years just because they had a rough patch? Share some of your food. Give us some fucking human food. Figure it out. It's going to be taking some nasty shits, but I don't know what to tell you. We had a fish. Sometimes you had to feed it bread. Just give it fucking bread. You had a fucking... You really did that? Yeah, we was fucking poor. We had a fish. We were broke. You know, it was like you couldn't get the fish food, so you just put fucking bread in there. It got darker after that. I don't want to really go into it, but like, yeah. Got a little darker. Got a little darker. Ended up living in a fucking mason jar for for a while, but like, whatever. Like, no. I'm tired of the motherfuckers feeling like... Everyone's so fucking entitled, man. You don't deserve... You don't have the right to anything in this in this country besides, like, freedom. Right? You got the right to freedom? Is that it? Where does it say you got the right to own a fucking pet? Well, for most people, according to this person, pets are considered a family, not property. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if you, there's a word where you humanize animals. I don't give a fuck if you do that. Anthropomorphize or whatever. Fuck that word. Anthropomorphize. Anthropomorphize your fucking animal. It's a fucking animal, dude. And I get it. There's a lot of. I also. I also understand. There's a lot of upsides to owning a pet. 
But if you're like old and by yourself, it's fucking great. Maybe you should have managed your money a little bit better instead of gambling that shit away. I'm tired of people's shitty life decisions being fucking, I get to fucking, I get to look out for your life decisions. Harsh. Yeah. (laughs) Fuck you, dude. Guess who's saying that? The guy that's living for free. Hey, I don't disagree fucking, with you. You're, you're a fucking, you're like welfare, dude. I could, I'm not disagreeing it's with not, you. And in, in furthermore, it's just bad for your fucking brain. Not being a fucking man or a woman is bad for you. And I know what you're saying, like, Jude, there's fucking corporate welfare in the dump. I fucking disagree with that, too. I disagree with that, too. I'm not for any of that shit. But like this? Fuck off. Fuck you. Fuck your dog. Fuck your cat. Well, this weepy person goes on to say, being poor is hard enough without being yeah. expected to give up your companion. Aw. 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 Boss up, man. I mean, being poor is hard. Go get a fucking job. There's tons of places that are hiring. Tons. But you think you're too good for that work. So, but don't worry. The F, uh, the USDA probably won't be swayed by this. Of course they won't. Their, their statement here is that uh, non-food items such as pet foods are ineligible for purchase with these benefits under current federal law. And like, look, dude, like, and I hate to say this to you, fucking smarten up. There's plenty of fucking hood-ass places where you can buy anything with fucking food stamps. How does that work? They just, fu- I don't know, they fucking just fucking type it in and say it's something else. I don't own a liquor store. I just know that there's like places where you can buy fucking, you can buy whatever you want with your little fucking EBT shit. Hmm. So, if you're not even smart enough to work around, fuck you. Die. You're dumb. And fuck your pet. And like, yo, you can't even. Let, let's say you can't even find that. You can't find. You can't figure out a workaround. Cats eat tuna? Buy fucking tuna. Get the shitty kind. That's like mostly brown and tastes like cat food anyway. Get the shittiest fucking cheapest chuck. Cook it up. Give it to your fucking dog. If it's that, if it's that, if it's, if you're, if you love your animal that much, you will use your seven brain cells to figure out how to fucking feed your fucking animal, man. That's all I'm saying. Well, of course, this person would argue that this uh, poor situation is beyond their control. They're a victim of circumstances. Hey, life's, life's hard. Life is hard. And I, you know, I'm, you know, I, food stamps, I'm familiar with them. I'm familiar with Wick. I'm familiar with all of these things. Looks like they call it Snap now. Oh, look at that. I haven't haven't been around in a while. Got out of that situation. I don't know what the fuck it's called. Guess what? I'm glad I don't know what the fuck it is anymore. I'm just saying, man. Like, you, you... That type of shit... In the long run, it's just bad for your brain, dude. That's all I'm saying. And I think and and look, I, I I go to these fucking signings and I meet I meet the listeners that listen to this show and these are fucking hard working motherfuckers, dude. And they do fucking tough jobs. And a lot of them life has fucking they've been dealt a fucking shit hand and they fucking work, they bust ass and they just figure it the fuck out and they go get it. And they need there needs to be more cats like that. Then like this fucking entitled prick who feels like who feels like you should be able to fucking buy fucking kibbles and bits with your with your thing? No, fuck you. Buy tuna fish and don't eat as much. You want your cat to live? Fine, fuck it. You can have a cat. Cut down your caloric intake, you fucking fat motherfucker. Tough love. Go look at go look at poor people. They're fat. 
It's literally, if you look at rich people and poor people, you would think that the caloric intake was going with the fucking, with, was, you think, you would, you'd think it was the opposite. Rich motherfuckers are in better shape. Obesity is a sign of poverty in a lot of times. So no, I don't, my heart is not bleeding for them. Fuck them. Hard as fuck, right? Hard as nails. That's what we need. We need it. We need. We need to harden up a little bit. Harden the fuck up. Dog food. I, motherfuckers buying lotto tickets with that shit. You can't figure out how to fuck it. You can't figure out how to pimp the system. Fuck you. Well, I would have bet big money this was a woman. Looks like it's a guy. What a bitch. <laughs> Edward B. Johnston Jr. Show me him. Well, Edward B. Jen- what a bitch. Fuck him. I don't even want to have an argument with him. I just want to call him up and just be like, you're a bitch, dude. <laughs> no, I don't need to hear anything. I read your article. Fuck you. Even though I didn't. Edward B. Johnson Jr. I know his dad's ashamed of him. <laughs> I would fu- I would be so ashamed. And you got my you got my name and you're walking around begging for fucking money, you bitch. For not not for you, for your dog. Ugh. Tell me a sex story. A happy or some update shit. now. A family celebrate. Oh wait, is that that is that more? Look at poking around for a photo, never mind. Ah. Uh, Alright. Uh What a lame. So there's some uh, Edward B. Johnson Jr. Will you look him up and see if you can find him? Mm-hmm. I just want to see what that fucking prick looks like. <laughs> it's bad it's just bad for us, dude. It's bad for us, man. This type of this type of thinking is bad for you. Was it sexist of me to assume that was a woman? It sort of feels like it, but no, be, here's the deal. Because look, I'm gonna give you a. I'm gonna defend women. Tend to be more empathetic, right? So this is a very empathetic fucking. Oh, everyone should be able to have an animal. Like, no, you shouldn't. Sell your dog and stop being poor. <laughs> that would, hey, that would fuck it, yo. That would put some fucking fire under my ass if I had to fucking sell the family dog. We were so fucking poor. Like, hey, maybe we should cut, maybe we should cut off cable and uh, leave it at fucking sixty-two degrees in the crib. Cut that heating bill down. Pack a lunch, ramen noodles and fried egg sandwiches. Cabbage is cheap. So is rice and beans. You can't find them? All right, well, fuck it. Give me something different. So there's some myths about your vagina that you should stop believing, according to this gynecologist, Alyssa Dweck. Tell me about my my vagina. Is there a couple here? What Tam- is a vaginal myth that I carry around about my vag? That tampons can get lost inside your your body. Bro. I remember I was fucking with this one chick, and she thought my dick got bigger because I was, like, pounding it out. And she was like, damn, man, he's hitting the back. Turns out Tampon was stuck up in that motherfucker for a long time. She ain't know until it started stinking. She almost went into, like, toxic shock shit. Yeah. It's, like, some for real shit. But specifically... Uh, uh, they just they just thought it would just go into their body forever? Oh, something about... Uh, she's, she's explaining here the uh, opening of the cervix is too small to allow a tampon to go through it, so it can get pushed up there, but it's not going to get sort of absorbed into your... Y'all motherfuckers, stupid. What? <laughs> if you just think, like, a tampon would just go into your body forever, like, just fucking just... Like, be chilling next to your lung and, like, just float all, over, like, throughout your body, like... You a dumb motherfucker. That's a, you, you're stupid as fuck. Which points out here, women often will forget to remove a tampon. Yeah. Really? That was what happened with my old... How do you forget about that? I don't know, man. Don't you feel it? Bro, there's been times I forget, like, did I do drugs or not? Do I need to re-up? And you don't find out until too late. You're like, fuck. But it basically gets caught up in the top of the vagina and the string is no longer easily felt. Yeah, go get it. you start to reek, then uh, take care of that. Yeah. If your boy, if you feel like your boyfriend's dick has grown and your vagina starts to smell like a body, mm. chances are you forgot your tampon up in that motherfucker. And you can't cure yeast infection with garlic or yogurt. Don't even try. 
I didn't even know people were doing that. But Keep some. vampires away. I guess. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to put cloves of garlic up in your vagina. No, you're not. That's well, what they I'm, say. I'm just saying. That's a myth. Know. You've heard of this? Yeah, man. I'm, I'm. Despite all of that sh- fuck your dog shit, I'm the son of some hippies. Like, I have come from hippie stock, dude. And I've seen what it gets you. That's why I'm so fucking... Yeah. Uh, that's why I'm so like this. Yeah. Oh, they're probably... Half my family's begging for dog food and fucking sticking garlic in their vaginas. I hope not. You need an antifungal medication to take care of that. So don't do that. Garlic has, like, a lot of healing properties. I remember my sister would get sick and then just fucking... Ch- eat... Eat... Ton- like, a whole... Th- clove of raw garlic and just stink up the crib I don't think she ever put it in her vagina so there you go ladies don't put garlic in your in your twat just to point out here they're saying twiggy twat twat don't put it in your twat unsweetened yogurt might help you manage the symptoms of a yeast infection though it can provide a cooling sensation but it's not really going to uh, take out the the fungus it ain't gonna get rid of that shit it's just it's a temporary what fungus so what do you, you just need a yeast infection cream, right? Yeah, go to the doctor. Yeah. If it smells like Subway down there, go to the motherfucking doctor. Another myth, you can get drunk using an alcohol-soaked tampon. You got to put that in your butthole, not in your vagina. <laughs> yes, you do. Don't do that. Yes, you do. That's... You're going to be doing that pretty soon. You're <laughs> so poor. Doing that. Yeah, you're so fucking poor, John. You're going to be soaking fucking... You're going to be dipping fucking tampons in gin and inserting it in your butthole. That's how poor you are. Yeah, that's true. But I'm not going to start you butt will. chugging or anything like you that. You are going to start butt chugging. That's not, not happening. Yeah. I don't, I don't think people are really doing that. I, I don't know anybody who's doing that. They were that. doing it in co- There was a problem. They were doing it in college a few years back. Like, people were almost were they dying. Doing- were they? There, well, I don't know if everyone was, but there was, like a, there was a, a case where, like, some frat guy died. Off of like just drinking too much, he alcohol poisoning from butt chugging. Alcohol. I guess there's just more membranes or some shit like that inside of the butthole than inside of the v- vagina. Is it, that's my guess. You can absorb it faster, probably. Yeah, that's shit. But no one's doing that. I, shit, dude. I know people that like crush up oxys and throw them up their asshole. A while ago, I agreed to uh, take a uh, marijuana suppository. What was that like? I'm, I'm saying I agreed. Uh, you would ask me if I do that. And I said, sure. So I Did, should get one of those. So you, oh, yeah, yeah, you're going to put it in your butt. Yeah, I'll, st- I'll still do that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I will do that. I'm game. <laughs> but um, so what they're saying here specifically, uh, this uh, tampon likely can't hold enough alcohol to intoxicate you. And they soak different brands of tampons, and it's just not enough to get you wasted. It says it can bypass the, if you put it in your butt, it bypasses the stomach enzymes that can buffer up to 30% of the alcohol you swallow. So it's, you're getting hit one third harder. If you just throw it up, you're going to do it soon. You're going to do it soon. You're an alcoholic. John, you're an alcoholic. Admit, you, we both, we both know you're an alcoholic, right? I've never, I've never denied it. All right. So hard times. It's just going to go in your asshole, bro. But I'm not a stumbling drunk where I show up to work and then, gosh, no, you no, got, nobody knows that I'm no, wasting. No, 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 no. You're clearly I, sober here. I'm I just drink saying. a little too much at night or something. That's all. Yes, I'm aware of it. Yeah, you're going to soak in them tampons. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Alcohol animus. Hmm. Not happening. Don't put it in your pussy if you're not going to get as drunk. <laughs> Give me something else. All right, there's this lady. Or, uh... The United, they refused to let this emotional support peacock on board oh, a plane. Oh, this is... Jesus I didn't Christ, believe people this, and their goddamn pets. Fucking crazy. Man, a support peacock? I know. I, I didn't believe this until I checked it out, but... The the woman brought this peacock with her uh, on a recent flight from Newark International Airport. Despite no. several warnings, uh, she tried to get it on board. And, of course, they said, No. Okay. I'm a I I I don't know the full story, but I know Delta is pushing back on this these emotional support animals, and I applaud them because that this is this is this is what we're this is what I'm talking about, dude. Like, okay, I, one it cheapens from people that actually really need fucking support animals. Do they? 
Yeah, like right. there's like, look, dude, there's fucking war vets right. that are like fucked up. They've seen some shit. They're fucked up. They got like crazy PTSD. You got you got people that like are are blind. You have people that like dogs that can smell if you're gonna have a stroke or not. Right. And then what cheapens it is is like you got some fucking you know some rich asshole lady that has a fucking lab dog that she can't keep under control, and she brings it everywhere, and that's emo- that's their emotional support thing. And not and and then that's a slippery slope that we get into. Now I got a fucking lady trying to bring on a goddamn peacock, and it's gonna look like a it's gonna look like one of those buses in Calcutta. You should see the video of her walking through the she, airport. I'm surprised she wasn't sworn by security. Is this white, black, or other? I'm saying it's got to be a white lady. Oh hell yeah, she's got to be a white wrangling lady. Wrangling her peacock into the airport <laughs> right now. Wrangling a peacock in the airport. Yeah. That bird big as hell. Look at that. that motherfucker's big. Yep, it's a white lady. God, God is damn lady. it. It's crazy. She got a lot of. This is. The fuck? That, sh- that shit's big than That's a motherfucker, dude. Where, where are the cops? How did. I don't know. I don't know if you need the cops, John, but like. <laughs> illegal peacock, freeze. <laughs> Hand me your cock. Drop the cock. Stop right there. All right, here's a better shot of the lady. Oh, my. Oh, she's a dick. Fuck you. Isn't she wacky? Look, man, like, honestly, if it's that deep. Dexter the Peacock. (laughs) You really are completely mental. What What a whack job. Look at her. Your parents fucked up big time. They're killing her. Get that crazy eye. She looks fucking nutty. <laughs> and look at the dad. He wants to die. He's not happy. He's like, I I birthed this fucking th- I fucking seeded this fucking loser lunatic. Mom just seems kind of sad or resigned. What have we become, dude? What have we become? If someone's like, Jude, you can just leave this world and go live somewhere else and like go into space. I would do it, bro. I'm like, fuck all y'all. I'm out. I'm out this bitch. Have fun. Like, I can't. I just saw some rapper with like Anne Frank tatted on his face. And I'm like, what? What? where do I live, dude? Like, what is this? You didn't like the book that much. The that's her that? with her fucking... She's, yeah, that's is she, another lady, it, it looks like. Oh, uh, that's another lady with the fucking peak. Is she pregnant or just fat? <laughs> I don't know. It's good. What is going God, on? I here? hope she's fat. We can't. I can't. I can't. I can't have them have it multiplying. Aren't they? Aren't peacocks kind of? I mean, I wouldn't want that thing. They're to, big than a motherfucker, dude. They go after my eyes. I, I, yeah, and like, yo, dude, like, and they, you can't control when you can't you can't control when a bird's gonna shit. They wear a diaper. Yo, can you imagine like you paid like I'm paying five hundred to fly from fucking New York to goddamn LA and somebody rolls up with a fucking peacock? No. I already don't like if someone wears too much cologne next to me. You know what I mean? Or like eats Wendy's. Oh, that shit stinks. <laughs> fucking bird? I'd be like, what the fuck is this? Get no. I'm gonna fist fight your bird. No. I'm gonna fucking fist fight your bird. Let it touch me. Would you would you make a stand if they were gonna let the bird on? You would you would Look, man, if if it if it was sitting next to me, I would say some shit. And if someone said some shit that it was sitting next to, I would co sign. But you wouldn't be the one causing the scene. If it was in my role, oh, right, right. I'd be like, yo, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> you better put me in fucking first class right the fuck now. You better put me in fucking first right now. I'm not sitting next to a fucking... No. I'm not sitting next to a bird. And I'm not sitting next to someone so fucking crazy, they need a bird. <laughs> what the fuck is this lady doing? I don't know. Just more shots around the world with a peacock. What a fucking loony. Dexter the peacock on Instagram. 
What does she do for a living? So, What's her deal? Tied into this in some way. Wow, she's obsessed. She is it. I'm, we're looking at her Instagram. It's just like the birds everywhere. Well, it's his account. Well, it's, well, well I'm sorry. I don't think. John, I don't think the birds taking pictures and uploading <laughs> uploading pictures. Probably doesn't have an iPhone. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, dude. Look, she clearly has her shit together enough to do photo shoots. It's, it's just, it, fuck you, man. Yeah, she's an artist, apparently. She's a performance artist. Oh, you know, you know her dad's paying her rent. Oh. Tell me just one good story, just one fucking cool story, just like. Uplifting. Uh, I gotta hear about people begging for fucking food stamps for animals. I got a woman bringing fucking peacocks on. Suddenly you can't put garlic in your vagina. Like, just tell me one. It's just something. Well, I can show you a video video of a kangaroo taking out a female biker. That sounds good. Give me that. Give me a give me a give me a lady getting beat up by a kangaroo. Let's end let's end on a positive note. But she survives, so she's the Ah, uh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I just want to see some. I just want to see. Those fucking kangaroos don't play. All right, so she's... All right, yeah, go ahead. Hit, hit play. She's riding her bike. She's on a 10-speed. Boom. Oh, shit. Damn. Damn. This kangaroo just hopped up and just fucking... Bounces away. Drop the... Bam, bitch. Bolos. Oh, put her to sleep. She's asleep. Blam. Busted her ass, and well, now we got to post this shit. Busted her ass, fetal position. She went from cruising on the bike, because just falling off a bike already hurts. Like, I've fallen off of bikes before going full speed. But a fucking kangaroo? That's going to be freaky as hell. People, are, people love animals, but animals will fuck you up. The earth is not a nice place, dog. Just keep that in mind. You're like, save the earth. The earth wants to fucking kill you. Remember that. Everybody, anybody that says that shit doesn't live out in the wilderness. Cause you go out there, them animals don't fucking play. I was, I remember I was, I was fucking this girl on the side of her house. Cause I don't know what happened. You know, she stayed with her mom. It was real, like it was weird. And so we're on the side of the house, and a deer rolled up. I was scared of the motherfucker, bro. Like I'm gonna have to fight a deer, and I'm gonna lose. It was just like, like it started making, and I was trying not to look like, seem like a bitch in front of the girl either, so I'm like butt ass naked, like, all right, just be careful. And I'm thinking like, if I get fucked up by this deer butt naked on, like her mom's going to come out, she's going to find me naked. He cruised, but you know. Yeah, the other night, I think we were having period sex, too, so maybe it smelt the blood. I don't know. Even some raccoons freaked me out the other night. Uh, I mean, they're, the way they just stand their ground is fucking incredible. Oh, they don't play, dog. Animals don't play. And that kangaroo uh, that kangaroo was like, what, bitch? You said, what, bitch? Wop. Go to bed. But Go she's to okay. bed. She's okay. It's good. And she was in a peaceful place. When you get knocked out, yeah. you when you get knocked out, it's peaceful to the motherfucker. People don't, re- don't, people don't think about that. But yo, man, like I've been knocked out before, and it's just like you just—it's like it's like taking seven Xanax all of a sudden. You just boom, it gets warm and fucking. It's real nice. Like ah, I needed that. I needed to not be up. Actually, when I got in my bike accident, that shit happened. I forgot I was do- I, I was fixing my bike tire. I went to Detroit, came home, forgot that I was fixing it. Was riding my bike into work, pulled up because there was a little bump. And the tire just kept going. Mm. Fucking forks straight down into the concrete. Blam! Slam myself in there. Knock me the fuck out. No helmet. Peaceful than a motherfucker. It was <laughs> it was peaceful as shit. I woke up to birds chirping and the sun was all warm on me. I was like, ah, oh, fuck am I? <laughs> like a Disney movie. All right. That's the news. Watch out for the kangaroos, y'all. You are checking out the All Out Show with Rude Jude on demand.
That was the show. I want to thank Scarface for coming by. He is one of my favorite people and favorite MCs. Deeply Rooted, The Lost Files is out now. Uh, Deeply Rooted came out like a year ago, a year or two ago, two years ago. Damn, time flies. And if you're not familiar with Scarface's library or his catalog, if you will, all right. Untouchable, the diary. Fucking Mr. Scarface is back. Is that the name of it? Yeah, Mr. Scarface is back. Last of Dying Breed. Like, just throw a rock. Throw a rock. He spits that real. He's your favorite rapper's favorite rapper. I want to thank Jason Ellis Show, everybody over there for uh, helping to put together the rap battle. John, you lost, but you I thought you did well, bro. Like, All right. Like, honestly, after you rapped, I was like, oh, John won. And then Andrew came, and he, I, thought, I thought he just, you know. But yeah, he, I thought he just got you. He, he did. Had, he had more material. I had. God, there was had, so much of it. He had a ton of material. Got way more personal than so you got. So much of it. it was more personal. Not really. Yeah. <laughs> he told me it was gonna be two minutes. That I mean, that felt like a lifetime. Well, he's slow. He's like a slow robot. You got beat by a giant slow robot. <laughs> I came in under like the wire. Vicky, Vicky from Small Wonder fucking beat you. It made people cry. You did. You got everybody else. <laughs> I, I stand I by it. That, that, that was a good hey, idea. I thought it was a good idea. A good I'm idea. right there with you as far as the rap battle goes. You just didn't get them. No. I don't know if I want to hear that anymore. Like, I'm tight on I don't want any more of those rap battles. Make it stop. <laughs> that was it. You lost. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to walk Two away. Two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> yeah. Two out of three ain't bad. We ain't doing that shit no more. This isn't going to be the never-ending rap battle between you two. Let's just cut our losses. Yeah. Can't, can't do that anymore. Kenan is on... The phones and the associate producer on the board is Chris. Alex is the producer. John, you are also the producer and the head rapper of the show. Uh, You're the show's MC. I failed this. (laughs) You're the fucking show's MC. Oh, yeah. I'll bounce back. My name is Jude Anthony Angelini. You should uh, follow me on Instagram at one more Jude. I'm doing white people Wednesday today. Check out that feed. And uh, Snapchat, I snapped some of the battle. Rude underscore Jude is the Snapchat if you missed any of the rap battle. And uh, Hummingbird and Hyena out everywhere. Grab them bitches, even on Audible and on iTunes. All right. See you tomorrow.